To say the Assassin's Creed franchise is in a bit of a weird space would be an understatement. After the events of 3, it was painfully obvious Ubisoft had no idea what to do with the series. What they did know is that Assassin's Creed was printing them cash hand over fist, and just like every other greedy corporation, they just had to milk that cow, baby. Fast forward a decade later, and Ubisoft has managed to somewhat redeem themselves with Assassin's Creed Origin and Odyssey. I personally was not a huge fan of Valhalla, seeing as I have no fixation on Vikings, plus the game launched in a terrible state. I got this game-breaking bug, that put me in an infinite loop. Anytime I would move, the game would just reload itself, so I just uninstalled the game. Let's fast travel. All right, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? My game is bugged! <laughs> Why, Ubisoft? <laughs> yes, welcome to my I have 20 hours on this game. This tragic moment from 2020 led me to watch a summary of Valhalla on YouTube, allegedly, because after putting 20 hours in and getting a game-breaking glitch, I was not starting over, nor was I waiting for a patch. I'm glad that I did, allegedly, watch a summary on YouTube because Valhalla introduced us to a new character by the name of Bassam. Now, I'm not too in tune with the Valhalla community, so I'm not sure if the community loved this guy or not, but clearly Ubisoft did because they gave him his own spinoff game that covers the origins of Bassam. Before we get into it, a quick disclaimer. The following video is not a full review. I have not completed the game at the time of this recording, so expect just to hear some general impressions. My opinion could change by the time I reach the end of the game, so feel free to take everything I say with a grain of salt. Always do your research and watch several videos before making your purchase. And with that being said, here's what you need to know before you install Assassin's Creed Mirage. Mirage is a spinoff title of Valhalla that was originally planned to be DLC. Apparently Ubisoft felt there was enough new content here that it needed to be its own game. So midway through development, they did just that. Now, normally I'd call red flag on the play, but it's being reported that it takes the average player 20 to 40 hours to complete Mirage, which isn't bad considering they're only charging 50 bucks for the game. That's far different in contrast to Modern Warfare 3, which was originally just Modern Warfare 2 DLC, but Activision had nothing to release for the 2023 holiday season, so they decided to call it a new game and charge everyone 70 bucks for old maps. Basically, Activision said, <laughs> With this game, Ubisoft hurt the feedback from fans. Mirage is a much less bloated experience than Odyssey and Valhalla. They also decided to focus the core gameplay loop on things that people fell in love with from the original games. Basically, Mirage is Ubisoft's version of Call of Duty's boots to the ground marketing. A return to old form, if you will. Because apparently, in the old Assassin's Creeds, you could teleport like Minato. <laughs> In Mirage, you start off as a thief, tragedy strikes, and then you somehow stumble your way into the Brotherhood. You use your newfound skills and connections to take back your hometown of Baghdad from the Templars. Baghdad is a gorgeous city. Now for a town surrounded by a desert, it is very vibrant and colorful, which made me want to explore the game. Exploration via parkour is a staple of this franchise, and I'm here to report, I am not the biggest fan of the parkour in Mirage. One change made is you are no longer allowed to climb on anything you see. Instead, there has to be something visible you can grab on like like on the older games. Now I'm cool with them taking it back to a more authentic climbing experience, seeing as it made things more challenging. What I didn't like is Bassam himself. I'm sorry, but Bassam has to be the sorriest assassin to date. Bassam might be sorrier than the dead assassin Edward Kenway robbed at the start of Black Flag for his clothes. If the Brotherhood is the NBA of assassins, Bassam is the 12th man off the bench on a small market team like the Indiana Pacers. This dude is incredibly unathletic. He runs slower than any other assassin in the series. He has no vert, and you'll often catch him sounding mad husky like, You gonna eat your cornbread. I understand they wanted to take a more realistic route, but I'm playing a video game. I'm trying to have fun, and Bassam is not the most fun to control. It doesn't help that the climbing system is inconsistent either. Unity was buggy at launch, but I think the community of Assassin's Creed can all agree that Unity probably had the best climbing system in the series, and it feels like Ubisoft hasn't gotten the climbing right since Unity. Often Bassam's body will clip through things or spaz out on surfaces, ruining the flow of the parkour. It's like the game's code doesn't know what it wants to do, so Bassam's body will freak out at random moments and you'll get awkward falls like this. Dude, you're a cripple. 
The good news is that it's not unplayable. I'm still having some fun with the game. Just, I'm telling you, temper your expectations. This time around, you're not playing a super assassin like Ezio or Cassandra. Instead, expect to play as the Jared Dudley of assassins. One change I did enjoy is the heavy focus on stealth. Once again, Bassam is the Brian Scalabrini of assassins, so don't expect any crazy fighting moves. The majority of Bassam's skill tree seems to be focused on taking down targets quietly. You get a bunch of tools like throwing knives, blow darts, and smoke bombs. Ubisoft even brought back the social stealth aspect of the game that allows you to blend into crowds. Your gear matters too, seeing as each outfit has different perks to them. Combat is present, but it's obvious the developers prefer you take the stealth route. Bassam can be easily overwhelmed in group fights, and overall, combat just felt clunky. But I'm cool with more stealth-focused gameplay, seeing as it makes the game more challenging. And as much as I love Odyssey, I understand people's criticism of it. It really wasn't an Assassin's Creed game, but instead, a superhero game. Now, there are a ton of callbacks to the OG games. I love that they brought back the wanted posters. As your notoriety level rises, you'll need to remove wanted posters off the wall or bribe reputable people around town to sing praises of your name. For the most part, Ubisoft does stick to the whole boots to the ground approach to this game if that's what you're looking for. That's why it's so confusing that Bassam has the ability to teleport. According to the game, he's just assassinating targets so quickly that you can't even see him coming, but it's all animated as if he's the fourth Hokage. Cool move, but it's a total contradiction of his character. This dude moves like the 300 pound version of Zion Williamson off the Mountain Dew and Doritos, but then randomly he gains the ability to move at lightning speed? Make it make sense. At least they kept their word about the game not being bloated. Baghdad is much smaller compared to previous games, and when you use the synchronization points, there's not a ton of side quests that pop up all over your map. And because of this, I feel like the pacing of the game is much better. I also enjoyed the presentation of Mirage. The game does a great job with its transitions from cutscenes to gameplay. Plus, when you do one of the major assassinations, a whole WWE style intro play is giving you more context into the villain you're about to clap. Little touches like that really made the game stand out and it got me hyped for the mission ahead. Unfortunately, Mirage suffers from a few key issues. Some are your typical open world problems and others is just your typical Ubisoft problems. The first problem I like to highlight is like every other Ubisoft open world game, it's buggy. In my few hours on the game, I did not encounter anything game breaking, but you might run into silly stuff that breaks your immersion. Take this clip for example. This happened in the very first mission of the game for me. guess he said fuck that stone right there. It goes back to what I said earlier about the parkour. Bassam's inconsistent interactions with the game's geometry leads to him clipping into walls plus weird animations that make the parkour more difficult than it needed to be. I'm running the game on the Xbox Series X and I would say it runs well, it maintains 60 FPS, but it does suffer from screen tearing. It's really annoying to try to sneak around the corner with it constantly looking like a samurai is splitting your screen in half. Now the typical Ubisoft problem that I mentioned earlier is the AI. At this point, I'm convinced Ubisoft Ubisoft has no idea how to program intelligent NPCs because it doesn't take much to outsmart guards in this game in most cases. If you mess up and get caught, just run two feet away, wait a moment, and then they'll stop searching for you all while saying something along the lines of, oh, it must be nothing. It must have just been the wind. And then sometimes NPCs just don't even try. What's happening? All in all, I do like Assassin's Creed Mirage. The game's gorgeous, the story's fun, and I'm enjoying the boots to the ground approach for this one. It's just terribly obvious this was supposed to be DLC. Ubisoft felt there was enough here to call it its own game, but I'm not fully convinced at the moment. By the time I finish this game, I'm sure I will still like it, but based off what I played, I'm not convinced this will be a game of the year contender. It's just an all right game, and that's okay. At least it's only 50 bucks, so it won't hurt your wallet too much. But if Mirage isn't your thing, and you're looking for another game that will not hurt your wallet so as long as you don't indulge in its comical microtransactions. I got a game for you. It's called Disney Speedstorm and it is a dope free to play kart racer. I covered it in the previous episode of Before You Install. So if you want to check it out, do me a favor and click the card on the screen and hook a brother up with some more watch time. Come on, click the card. Down.